Let's move down to our extension for our table view data source and delegate. And here I'm going to put a mark and call this UI table view delegate. And we're going to need two functions in order to be able to delete uh, cells from our table view. The first one is can edit row at index path and we're going to return return uh, true because we want to allow our user to edit our table view and the second function is what happens when our user edits it so we say commit editing style for a road index path and here this function will be called every time our user uh, edits the row and we're going to check what editing style was used so we say if editing style is equals dot and then we have different options there was an insertion there was a deletion and we are interested in if something was deleted so we check if something was deleted then we are going to perform our task which is going to be updating our basket so in order to update it we want to understand which item was deleted so i'm going to get this item we say let item to delete is equals and we access all our items and of course we have index path here so we say index path dot row and this will return the item that was deleted once we have or we get hold of this item we can sell all items dot remove at index and the index is going to be our index path dot row so this basically we take a hold of instance of this item then we remove this item from the array so that our array doesn't have this then we will say table view dot reload data in order to visually update our table view without the deleted item and the last thing we need to do is to update our firebase as well so we save our basket information on the cloud so that the next time user loads this uh, item is no longer in the basket and if we go to our basket here we have the function that updates our basket and we need to provide a basket object here to update and with our uh, values that needs to be updated so basically what we need to do now is to remove that item ID from our basket uh, item IDs because here our basket has the item IDs so we have removed from our array here and then we need to remove it from our basket as well so let's uh, let's just write another function here which is going to do uh, specifically this task to remove the item from our basket so I'll say private func remove item from basket and this is going to take an item id this is going to be a string remember our item ids in our basket are just a uh, array of strings which holds the ids of every item so once we call this function it's going to go through all the items that we have in our basket and check which one uh, matches the specific id that we are passing here and as soon as it finds a match with the id we are going to take out that item from our basket so let's say for i in and we are going to go from zero to number of items in our basket so we say uh, basket and we need to unwrap this item ids dot count so depending on how many items we have in our basket we are going to go through them and we're using this for loop including the i number because this is uh, going to help us to remove the specific item from our array because here we don't have like a, our uh, index path that will allow us to get rid of the item we don't know where exactly our item is in this array here so i'm going to say if item id is equals to basket and wrap this dot items 
itemize this and then I'm going to pass the i here. So it goes from zero until the count. And if this is true, we are going to say basket dot and when we access item ids and I want to remove the item at i. This is the position where we want to remove. And once we do this, uh, once we find the item that we want to re, uh, remove from our basket, which is going to be only one, um, what we are want to do is to just say return because we don't want the rest of for loop to continue. As soon as we find the item to delete, we are going to come out from our uh, for loop here. So let's scroll down and we're going to call this function right here. I'm going to say remove item from basket and the item ID is going to be our item to delete dot ID. And once our basket is updated, we want to save this update on, on the cloud. So we say update basket in Firestore and I'm passing my basket here, which is already updated. And then we want to pass the width values. And since we are updating our uh, item IDs, I know that my key is going to be K item IDs and the value is going to be my basket item IDs because we have already updated this. And we just hit enter, write a error here as our variable. And all I'm going to do is to check if there was an error. So say if error not equals to nil, I'm going to print and let's say error updating the basket. And I want to pass my error uh, localized description. And if no, if there was no error, I'm going to say self dot get basket items because we have deleted something and we want to refresh our items so that we have uh, the latest information from our cloud. 